Neve McCarthy of Drumcutter Broadford. Neve, you're preparing for the County Intermediate Ladies Football Final for the second year in a row. I suppose is there a pressure coming into the game as defending champions? Um, uh, there, I suppose there probably was pressure maybe at the start of the year for us to actually perform in our group games. Um, I think we were definitely nervous coming into the first game knowing that we were champions and we had a point to prove. Um, I think we started to find our groove though, you know, coming into the Nakini game and definitely in the semi-final, we really started to find our feet. So I think the pressure is actually lifted, which is funny enough, like going into a final because we've kind of found our niche again. Um, so no, there's there's really not. We're just going in um, to enjoy a game of football and that's it. And it's a quick turnaround, only a week for the semi-final and previous to the semi-final you hadn't played for a month. So it's, it's kind of a, a different transition for you. Yeah, definitely. Um, to, I, I think personally I, I would prefer the the extra week but whatever way that the fixtures have worked this year um, they've been different and to be fair the Camogie and the football this year in Limerick have worked so so well together I'm sure there's a reason behind us but we're not going to dwell on that too much so just a really really quick turnaround um, for Sunday to prepare for the Sunday just to come um, so I suppose you know what in a way there's very very little to be thinking about you just prepare for your game at the weekend you're not over analysing any game you're not over analysing any tactics so you know what it, it could be a blessing in disguise and you obviously got that run out on Sunday against Murbohar in the semi-final a 12 points three win it comes enough in the end but good to get a win under your belt and get like uh, games under your belt yeah um it was a funny game it's, it's one of those games where you don't think that you are dominant you know on top and like I mean at half time we were seven points to no score like but it never ever felt like that and Matt was actually there Matt Callum was there and he will tell you that as well it was a really really physical game um, and it, it kind of feels like it's one of those games that could just turn like wh when there's a goal at hand. Um, unfortunately, there was no goals. Um, I suppose no glory goals for us and, on, you know, for our own t team. I think it was the first time that we've come out without a goal. Um, but at the same time, we didn't concede a goal. Like So there's positives and negatives to take from there. Um, but yeah, it, we won comfortably in the end. But I can say for sure it was it didn't feel like that. And Ruve Oher gave us a great game. And you're probably expecting more of the game, same on Sunday against Ula, so you played already and beat by three points, but it's very hard to beat a team twice in the one year. Yeah, absolutely. I, I mean, like we've actually ran into Ula now so many times, especially I think last year we actually played them twice as well. Um, We played them in a group game and actually in a semi-final. So to be honest, it, it's like history rewriting itself. Um, So we're coming back and we're meeting them here in the final stage. So it's definitely going to be a great game. And um, we know each other very well at this stage, so it's it's going to be head to head, that's for sure. And obviously, Ula, they were in the semi-finals for five sets of years. You got over the line last year. How important is that experience that you've been there and done that? Um, yeah, I mean, like even the year before, um, we we were beaten in uh in the semi-final. That would have been in twenty nineteen. In twenty eighteen, um. I can't even remember what happened in 2018. I think were we up in senior or something? I can't even remember. Um, but I, I mean, getting over the line is obviously going to give you that bit more oomph and I suppose you settle that bit better. Um, but at the same time, you know, we have a point to prove as well. Um, and they have a point to prove. So I, I just really, really can't call it on this one. Um, I don't know as having the experience of last year going to Santos. I really, really don't know. Um, but all I do know is that we we finished well in our last uh, few games and that's something that we'll actually need uh, coming in on Sunday. And you've obviously mentioned the Camogie. It's kind of been every second week and obviously we share players of Avakleidi next week in the Camogie mm -hmm. final. How hard has it been or how enjoyable has it been to have games every week and to look forward to? Um, I, I don't actually play Camogie myself, but um, obviously captain is um, Anya Cunningham, <laughs> who's not here today. Um, but those girls, I mean, they are just fantastic what they do. Like, I mean, I'm only waiting every two two weeks for a game. Um, it's not that I take off the weekend uh, in between, don't get me wrong, but those girls are just athletes. Like, I mean, to be competing at the level that they're competing at is just amazing. And they turn over and they play these games with us. Like, I don't think the standard that we're playing at really does justify intermediate football they're tough games like they really really are and it's a credit to the girls who are talking out with uh Kledi and all the other clubs um in the county fair play to them because it's not easy do and it really just shows the dedication um that the players have in Limerick not just towards Camogie but also towards football they're there day in day out and they train and they train really really hard and finally, for me, I suppose the game is on the Gaelic grounds, which is huge, and it's also been streamed. It just shows the growth of the sport in Limerick. Yeah, definitely. And you've been so good to us as well um, over the last number of years. The coverage that 
um, you know, Sporting Limerick have given to Ladies Gaelic Football and Smoky has just been absolutely amazing. And there's going to be so many family members who aren't going to be able to make that game on Sunday, friends across the sea, wherever they might be. And it's just an amazing opportunity for all of these people to actually, you know, get to witness, hopefully, a win for whatever team it might be. And that support is so, so important coming into the game um, on Sunday. So, like, it's huge. Um, and I think it's really important to note, like, you know, that was a whole 2020 initiative. We're in 2021 and it's still ongoing. So 